we first met at a nightclub. And then he did me up. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> The photography for the wedding was an amazing cost savings. My uncle offered to do our wedding photos and they panned out to be unbelievable. My friend ordered all the flowers from Sam's Club. She basically just put them together and tied ribbons around them and they look beautiful. Weddings should not put people into so much debt. At the end of the day, it's uh, bringing family and friends together and just having a, a good old time. One evening, we were just hanging out and there was a lull in the conversation. Henry broke it with, do you want to see my meteorite? He turned around and had a giant meteorite sitting on his bookshelf. I had wanted to make her engagement ring. This is... This it's is looking a little ring. shabby but it's made of two kinds of wood. Probably took me a month and a half easily to make the ring. The actual materials, 20 bucks. I really wanted a cookie table, which is a bit of a Pittsburgh tradition I really like, is that family members and friends can contribute cookies leading up to the wedding. Enough for 10 cookies for everybody at the wedding. 1,400 cookies. <laughs> I learned that I'm a bridezilla. <laughs> When Tracy and I met, marriage wasn't something that was on the table. So it wasn't until after 2011 when marriage equality became a reality in New York State that we started joking about getting married. So we live in New York City, which is probably the most expensive market. We started looking at alternative spaces. So we found Barn on the Pond, which was this really cool custom barn house with the Hudson Valley Mountains as backdrop. The band is outrageous. They just travel all over the country in their vans. Her price was just really, really reasonable for you know the quality of the music. I think when you're crunched and you're forced to maintain a certain budget, it, it sort of forces you to think creatively. We were taking a shower and I got down on my knee and proposed. I actually went to Goodwill on a, on a whim and I got my dress for $50 and I had to do alterations on it because the bust was way bigger than what I could handle. It still came out to maybe $500. I strongly wanted a three button suit and I ended up finding an online warehouse. The sales guy got my suit jacket and the pants that came with it for $32 after tax. We both really strongly liked our engagement rings, so we kind of just decided to keep them. We didn't really see a reason to switch out the band itself because there was so much memory invested in these. 